Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be looking at one of the most realistic, one of the most ambitious, and one of the most interesting mods that I have seen for this game in a long time. Now, I highly urge you guys to check out the mod.io page and, um, dude, like, give some love to the creator of this thing because it is wild. This is the MTBR MK23, and it is more at home in SnowRunner than almost any other mod vehicle that I have seen thus far. And the craziest part is, the creator actually has almost, I think, three different versions of this truck uh, with extended versions and different attachments planned that are on the way or already in production. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this thing, drive it, and build it up, and just see what we can do with it. So, also, worth noting, this thing has, dude, as you can see, like, look, look at that. Some of the hooks on the side, they just, they, they actually move. That's crazy. They're animated and everything. Look at the detail down there on the frame, the axles, the tires, the suspension. It also has a functioning interior with a functional steering wheel, dash, like everything is, everything is fully modeled in here. It's just incredible detail. The mirrors work, like it's, it's, it's wild. The detail is wild. Look, you can even see the seat belt right there. Anyways, let's fire this thing up and get into the garage. Oh my god, it sounds so good. This I could totally see being a part of a modded campaign playthrough. Truly, truly could see it. So, engine-wise, we have the Caterpillar C12, and that is our only option. Develops 425 horsepower at 1800 RPM and 1550 foot-pounds of torque at 1200 RPM. Gearbox-wise, we have two options. The Allison HD 4070p, which is a 7-speed automatic, and we have the HD 4070p with off-road mode. So we're going to do the one with off-road mode because it seems like a pretty obvious upgrade. We have, oh, we have a one, uh, one suspension option, and that's it. We have the option of 55-inch uh, Michelin 1600R20XZL tires, and then the same tires with snow studs. What's interesting is they didn't go for a chained option on these. They actually went with a stud option, which is really, really cool. Now, we also have the options of basically all the heavy winches, like a stock heavy, extended heavy, advanced heavy, or twin motor heavy. I'm going to go with an advanced heavy for this one. Diff lock, we have engageable, and that's about it. Frame add-ons, we have standard cargo two-slot, standard maintainer, and standard flatbed, which I love the fact that they've actually given you the option of three different, basically three different cargo configurations based on what you would see on an actual military variant, because this one carries 1,300 repair points, uh, five spare wheels, and 370 uh, units of spare fuel, which is really, really good. It's actually a really nice amount for a maintenance uh, add-on. And then if you just want to go like real basic flatbed, you could do that as well. So let's go with the standard cargo uh, two slot. And that's the other thing too, is that it's not a super overpowered cargo carrier either. It's actually like, you know, just normal two slots. There's nothing crazy about it. We'll throw a snorkel on the back and we will go with engageable all wheel drive. Now. We have the standard exhaust, and that's it. The standard wheels, and that's it. We also have a camo paint job available. We have basically two options. We have tan, and we have camouflage. I am going to, or at least I should say, like, sort of forest camouflage. I'm going to go with the tan, because I think the tan just kind of works a little bit better for this truck, but that doesn't mean we won't use the camouflage later on uh, on another map or something. And of course, interior customization is not available on vehicles like this yet, but it will be in the future. Uh, but as of the date of recording this video, it is not currently available. So, with all that being said and out of the way, let's give this thing a shot and see how it drives. So far, it feels really, really nicely balanced, and it doesn't feel like it, you know, jumps off the line or anything crazy. It definitely feels like something that you could use in a standard playthrough and not feel like you were cheating or overpowering the game or anything like that. Trailer options-wise, we have the standard assortment of, of uh, basically just, like, heavier bumper pull trailers, which is fine for a truck like this. I mean, it's, it's the options I would assume a truck like this would have. And as far as cargo capacity, like I said, we have two units, so we'll bring it around to the cargo area, and, ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, it says two slots, but I guess it's only one. Oh, now that's interesting. It said two slots in the garage, but, hmm. 
That is very interesting. So I, it, wow, it only lets you put one unit in the back. So actually, technically, in terms of cargo carrying, without a trailer, it's overbalanced, really, because this means that it would take you more time to get an objective completed with this than it would with some of the stock in-game trucks, and this is a mod. So, for the people out there that's, that are that are always like, you know, oh, I don't use mods because they're all overpowered, this one isn't, especially in terms of cargo carrying. But, dude, like, overpowered or not, wow. I mean, it's probably one of the most visually visually complete trucks to look at that I've seen in recent memory. I mean, looking around it, I am like, oh my god. I mean, and, and honestly, this is one of those trucks that I think when it comes to console mods, yeah, this thing is going to be at the forefront of, of console mods. And one, it's going to be one of the trucks that will be right out there at the forefront of console mods that people are going to be like, oh my god. I need that, and dude, I'm I'm on that list. Like, make no mistake, I am on that list of people. Like, I want this thing to be at the front of everybody's list for what they want in terms of console mods, and oh, that's great. That's great. This is what happens when your controller goes nuts. Yep, yep, that's what happens when your controller goes nuts. And then, wait, did it fix itself? Wow, all right. That's what happens when you don't unplug your controller from your PC for uh, a month or so. I promise I unplug it more often than that usually. Now let's take it up the handling course because normally I wouldn't, well, I say the handling course, the climbing course. Let's not do that yet. We have, uh, we have mud stuff to test. So that's about its pace in, in fourth gear in auto. And I gotta say, it's pretty quick. But it's not overpoweredly quick. I mean, I would say it's probably on par with the MK38. It feels on par with the MK38, which is about where I would expect something like this to be. And now, let's throw the all-wheel drive on and dive it into the mud. Shallow mud first. Let's see how it does in the shallow mud, all-wheels on, automatic mode. Pretty dang good. It shifted itself up into fourth and just started digging away. Dude, it runs through here. Wow, it runs really, really well. Doesn't even try to start sinking, which is incredible from such a heavy truck. Yeah, that's impressive. All right, slightly deeper mud now. We'll go to the first lane over here. Plunges in a little bit. Holding fourth gear, though. Impressive stuff. Like, really impressive stuff, actually. Now, here's where it'll get interesting. That's low plus... This lane is usually what starts to trip trucks up, but... Okay, so no change in speed between low and low plus, which means low plus is mostly spinning. Well, it's going a little bit faster. It, it kind of fluctuates in between the sort of like spinning and actually making forward motion, but... God, it looks so good. And it looks like it belongs. Like, it really looks like it belongs in this game. I don't know if there's any other trucks that I've seen in recent memory that look more like they belong in SnowRunner than this thing. This thing just... It, it needs to be here. It belongs here. There's absolutely no reason why this truck doesn't belong here. And of course, as part of the standard testing... Y'all already know, we gotta do the dips, and then we gotta take it off the bridge jump. Y'all already know. And y'all, actually, it's funny because I did a couple of tests where I may or may not have left out the bridge jump, and a lot of y'all were like, wait a minute, aren't we missing an essential element of this test? And, I, and, and I'm like, yes, yes we did. We did miss an essential element of the test by not taking them off the bridge jump. It does pretty well, actually. I mean, I, I drove it across straight, because I wanted to see how easy it would be to high center it, and it's actually fairly difficult to high center in obstacles like that. I also figured it would get some damage by just like chucking it straight across the obstacles like that or through the dips, but no damage at all. It does really, really well. Now oh, the interior view looks awesome. 
Whoa. Oh, God. Whoa. I feel like we almost flipped. It felt like we almost flipped. The dash looks so good. I find myself, like, when I'm in the interior view, I find myself getting distracted by looking at, you know, how well detailed the interior is. All right, making a quick left. Whoa. The steering takes a minute to unwind, but then again, that's... That's just big truck things, and me not planning for it. All right, boys, we're already in fourth gear. We might as well just, like, stay flat out and give it the beans. Come on. I think that's... I think that's max speed. I think that's all she's got. No damage. Like, we didn't make it all that far, but how we ended up with no damage from that, I have no idea. But I'll tell you something. This thing belongs in everybody's mod collection, no matter whether you like it. In my opinion, no matter whether you like m mods or not, this belongs in your mod collection. Show some love to the creator. He did an incredible job. And if you enjoyed this video and you have anything you'd like to say or suggest about this mod or about the video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.